Hey, hello. Hey, hey, this is James Randall. Hey, James. James M60 uh, Randall. Hey, sir, I went to your home yesterday and your roommate stabbed me. You went in my cabbage wall? Yes, I, I went to your green room. I, I walked into a random house and it happened to be yours and that Jacob man was inside. Oh yeah, he's a he's a freak. And that's, he not, stabbed that's my me. pawn room, James. That's my pawn room. I know, I've been there. I'm sort of a pornographer now, sorry. Uh, piece of shit is what you want. Yeah, well, I mean, what's happening with this trial, James? You promised me millions. I, yeah, my law the lawyer has done nothing. Put your foot up his ass, James. Come I'll, on. I'll put my foot in your pussy. Not in this deck. That's what I call your mouth, you piece of sh. You have a little pussy mouth. Hey. Hello, Charlie Danger. This is James Randall, licensed clinical psychologist. Uh, I'm just at my office here waiting for you. Your appointment was about two minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. You know what uh, LS traffic's like, man. I'm, it's, I've got a woman on my shoulder and like another one on the line. I'm, I'm, I'm outside of Vulture Lakota. Is your office located on what floor? Uh, come on in. But it's the coach, correct? Oh, I see you. Okay, all right, Gabby. Ah, hello, uh, Doctor Randall, isn't it? Yes, yes. Hello. Uh, will this be a couples therapy session? Uh, yeah, this so. is uh, Gabby slash Danger. Not sure if Danger burrito. Slash. Hello. Hi. Yeah, yeah, okay. Again, good to see you. Yeah, please Someone come with me into. Yeah, he's uh, a professional. Is please he a come professional? with me to the lower offices. Thank you. Gotcha. Listen to how he talks, Gabby. He's got like all like this regal tone, like he's like all sophisticated. Right. And old people are all. I've literally never been in here. Ah, ah, beautiful office, uh, Dr. Ren, 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 Randall. I, I gotta, I gotta... Hey, doctor, is there a, a, a bathroom around here somewhere I could urinate for my penis? Oh, uh, yes, this, uh, this thing you see on the desk, the glass thing. Oh, well, that looks is like a perfect a size. more modern, uh, It's toilet. a pump. It's a, it's a toilet. You take the uh, you take the little uh, th bit here on the right and insert yeah. that into your urethra, and then the pee will come oh out and go into there. Sounds painful. Right. Okay, hold on. We I'll won't be look. Right back. We won't look. We won't look. No, no, I, I can just no privacy, it down here. privacy. Oh my god. Oh, it's all right. I got it. Now, Miss uh, Gabby, was it? Yep, Gabby. What brings you to therapy? Um, both have very unique problems that kind of collide into, um, a bigger problem. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Yeah. Mm hmm mm hmm See, mm -hmm. Chuck thinks that he needs to have sex to survive. Okay. But my friend thinks he's a virgin. Mm hmm Because... He doesn't seem to know what sex really is, but also, I'm a virgin. Mm -hmm. And you see, there's a moral dilemma here. I see. Uh, now, hypothetically speaking, do you have any desire to engage in uh, relations with Mr. Danger? Well... You can say no. In fact, it would be preferable. Have you seen him? <sighs> now that... <sighs> Oh yes, it's feel free to join us, right Mr. Lane. It's like it's like taking an arm out of a sleeve after a hot day in like a woodland area. Uh James, so what can we offer you here? <laughs> Offering you. Uh, Mr. Oh, Danger. Yeah. Oh, we've already gotten started without you. Mr. Danger. Please what you probably Charlie. Charlie. Mr. Danger. Danger. Big Daddy Charlie. Char Peppy. What brings you Peppy to therapy? Charlie. Well, I'm sort of insane, and nobody seems to realize it. But I'm oh, no, also at the same it. time the most amazing man that has ever existed. I've achieved the godlike sex man status. I'm a millionaire by just divine right, and being me. I've become so awesome, and every day I get more awesomer, to the point where I physically became an A-framed 
exploit where I went through the walls and I went and saw Fingal Dan and I grabbed him. I took him out. I was like, Fingal Dan, you're coming with me. This is all on record, by the way. This is how amazing I've become. This didn't happen. And I took him out up into the sky and I dropped him off and I said, you know what, God, not today. Chuck Danger will defy you today. Yeah, I think I might be a god. Anyways. Also, I'm extremely well hung. Mr. Danger, uh, uh, it, would, it would appear based on the body language that I'm uh, picking up here that your uh, significant other here is frustrated with your antics. Perhaps, perhaps not, Gabby. See, Gabby's done the danger trials, James. Just like now, me, you, big old ball of napalm. We had to do what we had to do. When I came back, I saw the path of the danger. Gabby, would you say that you're frustrated with Mr. Charlie Danger's antics? Um, not so much his, well, some of his antics. Mm -hmm. Most of them, I don't mind. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's certain ones right, that you quite... See, like that, like, where he, you like drive that, mode. There he goes. <laughs> drive, drive mode. <laughs> That's essentially when I butt fuck my bike, <laughs> and I lean into it so hard, and it yeah, does. Yeah, but we're talking about thing. me right now, not you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought that we were talking about drive mode. This is about Gabby, and her issues with you as a man. Now, there's no issues to that department. Huh? It would appear that there is some uh, sexual com incompatibility in that uh, you, Charlie Danger, are a uh, clinically insane uh, sex pest. It's a wonder how you are not in a jail house somewhere. And Miss Gabby here is uh, disgusted by the mere thought of you. Um, no, no, I'm not disgusted oh, by okay. the mere thought of it. It's, mere you know, there's a moral morality ah, issue. I see. And, um... Also, because, you see, I'm better than all the other women that he's ever been with, so let's just be real here with that, because that's just a matter of fact. Yes. And the problem is, you know... Uh, I don't disagree. She's got, like, three accents. <laughs> all happening at once. The problem is here it's is great. that... It's great. Ouch. <laughs> you keep distracting me. You need to stop. The problem is that you know when we were coming or going to go pick up our son jean baptiste cheeseball danger yeah. um there was a woman there doll who he put also on the front cover of his newest edition golf santos volume one he put her on the cover same amount of pictures of me on there and whenever we went to go pick up our son cheese ball or jean baptiste yeah and baptiste um, <laughs> the whole time he was flirting with her and was like Oh, I've missed you so much. Oh, never said I that. Did. Yes, you did. And then you're like, oh, I haven't forgotten about you. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, and I, did I was say like, that. you did. And then you freaking touched her butt. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. Uh, maybe I did. Like, oops, I meant to touch your dog. Oh, 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 oh. Mr. Danger, do I you? I did do that. I forgot about that. Would you consider yourself a faithful lover? I like this Phil Collins song. No. I love Phil Collins, man. You know he's my cousin. Mr. He's Danger, an easy let's lover. Mr. Danger, let's focus on the, the question at hand. Get a hold that you believe. Can we focus it? here? Maybe I'd have more luck speaking to the the. Oh, the I'm, 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 excuse me. I'm also suffering from what they call a cranial brainial displacement, where half of my brain is melting due to being hit on the head with a bat. I'm dying. Slowly. That's what he says, but... Mish but Gabby. The, only cure, the only cure is danger. <laughs> and sex. I'm winning on both avenues. <laughs> no, I haven't noticed a decrease in health when he hasn't had any mm -hmm. coitus, so I feel like it's not true. Interesting. Now, so you believe that he's lying about his uh, coitus-fueled uh, terminal yes, illness? Yes, I think it's manipulation. I think, think science will disagree with you. You think it's... What? See, when you asked to talk me. to science because he says science called him, I said, what's their number? He can't <laughs> provide that information, but then he says they call him anonymous. Often. And what you was... can't just recall back science. What was the word you used for the, uh, the state of his condition? Manipulation? Yes. Another Phil Collins album. Okay. Okay. Manipulation. Everything can be Phil Collins or John Williams related. Chalk. But don't get me started on Enya and your lack of care for Enya. 
Just in because you, you can't get it in you doesn't mean I want to get in you. You know what I mean? <sighs> sorry, uh, sorry, doctor. Frustrating sometimes, and that's all I live for. But people don't look past that. They just see the sex man. It's like, oh, it's Chuck Danger. He's so hot. He's so cool. But I gotta do this every day. Oh, your life I'm is so smokes. hard. Sorry, okay, but I'm a dad. Yeah, oh my gosh, say... my, the love of my life will not give me vagina. <laughs> what? Oh no. <laughs> my life is so terrible. It's realistically, Mr. Charlie Danger, uh, it's all about putting your problems into perspective. The reason I asked if you are a faithful lover is because if you are unfaithful, then you don't need to worry about the fact that your wife doesn't want to sleep with you. You can sleep That's around. Great. It's actually a fucking genius and idea. your satisfaction you elsewhere. What? But I mean, uh, you know, everybody wants the big Christmas present, don't they? They like the small ones, but you want to open the big box. <laughs> Inside, <laughs> might be like a skeletric, or like a big box of Lego. No, I want to start stacking my blacks. Gabby, when Mr. Charlie Danger here refers to you as the quote big box, how does that make you feel? How you feel that? Um, like literally just a, 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 a box. Let's not take this out of context, James. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a bit. That's a bit unprofessional. Actually, no. I think he's doing a fantastic job. I think you're just feeling a bit attacked, and so therefore you're trying to deflect. I'm just trying to protect your backs. Right. Interesting. Now, Miss Gabby, do you find that your marriage... Are you two married? No. no. Do you find that your relationship is loving, or do you feel it is lacking? Um, I think a good portion of it is loving, yes. Back in some loving, though, am I right? Oh my god, see, this I have, is I have, I have, I have a see. bit of an unrelated question. Miss Gabby... How is it that when you speak, I hear three accents all fighting it out with each other? <laughs> oh, that's a question that we can get deeper into in therapy because okay. I would love to know the same thing. Okay. It's quite impressive. Thank you. No, that's She's being an impressive said. lady, James. She's uh, top of the danger scabbards and stuff. With, like, the things top of the does. danger scabbard? Danger trash. Remember when we did that? We walked down the street and looked cool, and you like almost out cooled me. Then you pushed someone, pushed the guy, pushed the guy in a wheelchair off a bridge, I think. I've passed yeah. every danger trial on the first try, but except for the last one, which is apparently. Get ready. Can you believe it? Actually, can you guess what the last one is? Sex. Yep, that's it. That's <laughs> one. Charlie, were you going to make me have sex with you? <laughs> Probably. As, as part of the trial? I need to get some air a minute. Sorry. <laughs> Gabby, do you, do you have any desire to be sexually active with Mr. Charlie? Well, yes, but the problem is, like I said, it's, mm -hmm. it's a conflict. I don't okay. know where my morals are at anymore. Okay. Okay. I, I do think Mr. Danger is a bad person. And I do think sleeping with a bad person, it now, however, it doesn't make you a bad person. It, it, it definitely creates a little bit of a side eye situation. So, I, I, you know, I, I, I feel like <clears throat> as best not to uh, compromise your character, you should potentially find a shooter that isn't a uh, Charlie Danger. This is Doctor Patient Confidentiality. You cannot hear this, uh, but you should well, potentially I, I find listening. you should find a shooter that is not a borderline psychopathic narcissist with delusions of grandeur and God, a psychosomatic terminal illness. Where's my See, now that is a fair statement. However, out of all the other the psychos, I for some reason really like this one. Okay, it's the leather but jacket. You like it? me, I know. It's the ah, leather jacket. You're He's a bad boy. He's a bad well, boy. Actually, you know, if here's the problem. He still has this like this facade that he puts on with other people. Sad. He does. What's the facade? So what is the facade? Little... Is that oh like a God. planet? 
is acting up because you're here to try to impress you. Mm. Interesting. Uh -huh. Interesting. When it's just us, he's like way different. No, I'm not. I'm always like this. Uh -huh. I'm bound this right. way. Uh huh. First by the bat, the baseball <laughs> bat. <laughs> James, why do I scream when I wake up every morning? It's, is that like a mental thing? Like, I, it's only for like a, a microsecond. I just wake up and I open my eyes and I go, ah! It's not like a big scream. Is that, does that make, does that make my, my mouth iron or like calcium? What, what's with that? Well, Mr. Danger, I believe you are afraid. I believe you are afraid of this life. I believe you are afraid that this facade will all come crumbling down. I believe that you are afraid that someone will give you a brain scan and find out that your melty brain is actually psychosomatic. I believe that Gabby will... Uh... Uh... Be, <clears throat> uh sorry, my, my apologies. One moment. I have a, a client I need to speak with. <clears throat> no, wait. Uh, one, one moment. I apologize. Right, I, I, I am so I am so sorry. I was I, okay. I okay. didn't know. I didn't know it was you. I was merely trying to protect you. Uh, I I'm in the middle okay. of a session. These are two of my clients. I am a licensed clinical psychologist. They are having a lot of problems with their. Oh, you become a therapy. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Oh, well, you don't need to. I don't want you to break HIPAA or anything. Do you Do you have any experience as a, a, a sex therapist? Yes. Oh um, God! Men's. Why did I? Yeah. Why did I guess that? You, it's an energy. It's an aura about you. Would you be willing yeah. to help these two? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure. Please, I mean, please, do you want to sit down? Please. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Uh, this is uh, someone I've invited here today. Yes. This is this is Ursula. She is a yes. licensed clinical uh, a, mm -hmm. a, a couples therapist and a sex therapist, and she is going to uh, take it from here. Uh, I believe. Uh, not so much you, Gabby, but Charlie Danger, I believe you are beyond my help. I believe you are a lost oh cause, and we could all benefit from somebody putting a bullet in the back of your head so hey. you can no longer hurt anybody ever again. That That's being good. said, uh, your relationship is salvageable, and eh? uh, I, I, I would like to hear an expert's opinion on how they would salvage it. So I, I passed? Is, is it, did I pass? I think he said you deserve a bullet in the brain. Um, no, I all right. thought of win. I guess that's what that means. Okay, well, let's let's start with um, the basics. What are what are the problems you've been experiencing? Uh, no sex, I think. Just no sex between you, or just no sex in general? Uh, no, James said it's a better idea that I, I, I can sleep around. So I, I mean, uh, to be honest, it's completely fixed. I don't know if that's exactly what he meant, but sure. Well, Gabby, are you okay with a polyamorous relationship? Well, yes, that's how we. Um... But it's pretty much what we decided on in the beginning, but mm -hmm. it was like poly with boundaries, you know? As far as like, you know, certain that people. Pinball. Shut up. And also like, um, I don't know, like either certain people or, you know, if I'm sleeping in the other room, not to be disrespectful or, you know. That wind song incident, it. you had a cabbage wall to hide behind. That was just like really rude, and that's not even the instance I'm talking about. That's just another one. Wow. Okay. So it seems like you're not respecting her boundaries, Chuck. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a bowling pin alley, and I've got the safety rails up. It's not my fault. She's getting a seven ten split each time. See, one time we went home, and then Win Song was there, and they're just like. They just started going at it right in front of me, and I was just like Mike was out skiing in the corner. Well, generally, this is what I say. You have to decide whether or not the boundaries that he is clearly doesn't give a shit enough to not push are enough of a deal breaker to end your relationship with him. But it's or it's it's, it's vital for my if you survival. want to work on it. See, that's what he says, but then we're trying to determine if that's a lie. Yeah, he told me. me that. He told me he was going to die last September and then December. <laughs> and then yeah. January. I, I don't remember that. February. Those. I don't remember that, uh, Luke. Now you can say, oh, Chuck, oh, you can't remember me, and I can't because that's not my problem. I can't. Yeah, help I don't it. think it's your problem. Yeah. Charlie, we fucked up. How did we fuck 
Fuck up. That's not a penis pump. That is for jewelry appraising. The next person who tries to appraise a gem is going to get a face full of your piss. Oh my there's god. There's more than piss in that, James. Oh my god. Okay, all right. Let me just... Hit a home run each time. That's all I'm saying. Let me just sweep this off the table. Uh... Just leave it in there, man. That's like, that's like hot semen, in my I'm sure they have extra ones somewhere. Yeah, yeah. We've got, we've got others in the back. Um, you know, I'm not saying this is the... This isn't the first time it's happened. <clears throat> and having fun unless you're coming in some sort of diamond appraisal item. To be honest, that's not the first time that's happened. Mm -hmm. I, I have came in diamond appraisal oh items before. Ang Stari, back in Nam. 2007. Nice little two-week cruise with a buddy of mine. You, you've never been to Nam. I've been to Nam. Uh, nor have I, I, yet he is always referencing uh, our trip to Nam together. Yeah, he's like literally like 10 years younger than the Vietnam War. I don't mm -hmm. know how he could have been there. Not 10 years younger. Looking 10 years younger. Chuck, how old are you? I don't know. I don't even have an ID. I haven't had a license in a year. I don't, I don't even know how his still, ID. I, I don't know how it still exists. He was born in 75. <laughs> was that? Let's see. 75 bodies. All I counted were from the hill. I believe. String of machine gun fire, James. Uh, Remember? Okay, be... so maximum, he could be 48 years old. The <laughs> Vietnam War um, took place Roughly from November 1955 Maybe to the fall of Saigon in 1975. So he was literally born <laughs> the year of the Vietnam War start ending. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. If it ended for so you, it have been a past life? <laughs> it for me. Is he having past life flashbacks? Maybe that's something to talk that to an occult expert about. Possible. Uh, Charlie, uh, Gabby, uh, I, normally my job is not to give advice, it's to ask and provoke your thoughts uh, and see where you are lying on things uh, and where, you, where your logic lies. But I, I have to, for the safety of you, uh, Gabby, I have to recommend... Charlie Danger is a problem. Uh, and not only is he a problem, but he's problematic. He's dangerous. Mm -hmm. He's dangerous. motivated by pure impulse, motivated. desire, and mm -hmm. the tip of his penis. Desire. He is penis. Uh, clueless. There is nothing going on in the brain. He is a creature of mere instinct, and there yeah. is no one home in those thoughts. Yeah, uh, all he wants is sex. And he, one day, he will, he will, he will be involved in a dangerous stunt accident. His time is ticking, and he's considering f***ing the light switch right now. Yes, Gabby. he is. Gabby, Gabby, oh Gabby, my listen God. to me. He's such a horn dog that right mm. now he's giving the f*** me eyes to a light switch on the wall. Gabby, he's mentally deranged. This is, this he's is ill. Why... He needs help. <laughs> Somebody needs to uh, just put him down, and truth be told, I'm tired of waiting around. I'm a perfectly <laughs> capable man. I didn't see anything. <laughs> Why'd you do that? We're very sorry, but some therapy sessions have to be ended this way in order most. to save the other person. Right. I can fix I, him. We don't like to say most. We just. Like I can. Sh say. I can shave her. The thing is, is that it's very clear he doesn't respect your boundaries. That's correct. Um, yeah, he and now it. he never needs to respect any boundaries uh, ever again. He's, he's dying. Well, thank you uh, for your time today. Uh, we're going to go uh, work with another client now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. I Truly, uh, I, I think there's hope for you. Uh, not him. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's, still, there's still hope for you. Okay. Uh, keep, keep, uh, just, maybe we just leave him here. Oh. Yeah. Just kill you. I'll be downstairs. Parkour. Something bad happened. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'll do you, James. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God. All right, let's get you over to Pillbox.